My plan today is to make some pimento cheese sauce. So what I have in this um, saucepan is about a cup of prepared pimento cheese. And then I'm going to add, I don't know how much exactly, just yet. And that looks like maybe uh, two tablespoons of half and half. I have the heat on really low. And I'm just gonna kinda keep an eye on it until it comes together into a cheese sauce. I may need to add more um, half and half. I'm not sure, I'll see how it goes, but that's the plan right now. It's actually come together really nicely. I have not added any more half and half. And the cheese is melting quite nicely. So I'm gonna continue to stir, keep it on a low heat. See what happens. I bought this pimento cheese over at Costco. So yeah, I had about a cup of it left in this container, pretty big container. So I was wondering what I would do with it other than spread it on crackers, which is also very good. <laughs> anyway, so I came up with this idea to do a pimento cheese sauce and I'm gonna serve it over some broccoli. So just a little backstory. Here's what it's looking like after maybe about three minutes, I guess. Yeah, it's probably a little bit more uh, thinner than I was anticipating it would be, but maybe after more of that cheese melts down, the shredded cheese and the pimento um, spread, it'll thicken up a little bit. And as it cools, of course it will thicken up. So there you, there you have it right now. I'm gonna to start to prepare the broccoli. Okay, next I'm just gonna trim up some broccoli florets. Pop them in the microwave for a quick steam. I just thought that would be a good way to serve it with the cheese sauce. Then we'll be ready. This will be a nice low carb Keto friendly, I believe, vegetable side dish. I don't normally um, steam broccoli in the microwave, but as opposed to roasting it with the cheese sauce, I don't know, that could be done too, but I just kind of thought maybe steamed broccoli would be good with this. So there we are. Got about, I don't know, it's hard to say exactly, four, four cups of broccoli florets. And I pop them in the microwave on, I think, high power for a couple, three, four minutes. I don't want to overcook it. Then it's ready for a cheese sauce. Yay! Pimento cheese sauce, that is. Next, cover the broccoli with some plastic wrap and pop it in the microwave with a little vent hole. Like I said, for maybe like three minutes and then I'm gonna cook it down a little, just a little bit and then season with salt and pepper at that point and see, see how it looks. So off to the microwave. Okay, this is after three minutes on high power. Oh wow, it's, you can see it's turned a nice uh, brighter green than it was before. So I'm gonna season with a little salt and pepper, not too much. I don't wanna take it too far. I'm gonna say it's maybe like a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'll do a little less of pepper, maybe quarter teaspoon of pepper. Give it a quick stir and then I'm gonna add it back to the microwave because I can tell just from um, the feel of it, from stirring, it still has a little ways to go. Not too much, maybe just another minute. And I did cook it on high. And see how much it cooks down? Yeah. So there we go. One more minute. More time. 
One more minute and then we're ready for the cheese sauce. Okay, so I switched to a whisk just to kind of get the extra lumps out. It may still always be a little lumpy. Um, it's hard to say for sure, but anyways, whisk it, whisk, whisk until it's nice, smooth, and creamy. Okay? Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. I am a broccoli fan. So this recipe can also be made with um, frozen broccoli. You know, cook it first, of course. But I think that would work just fine. But in this case, I happen to have the fresh and I do love fresh. So there we go, nice and hot, piping hot. And now, for the delicious pimento cheese sauce. Okay, let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This'll be good. So I hope you like this recipe, if you can call it a recipe. It's kind of just a quick way to use up some leftover pimento cheese, should you happen to have any. And of course you can make your own pimento cheese. I've done it before. I'll link, I've made pimento uh, mashed potatoes. Gosh, those were good. But I'm gonna link a few things in my website. So, oh, I hope, I hope you like this. Uh, it's going to be amazing. So have a good day, everybody. Take care. Bye. Visit me at kudoskitchenbyrenee.com.